Hi, I'm Jennifer Shveta Jordan with the Allegheny Front. We're a public radio program that focuses on the environment. We're produced out of Pittsburgh, and I'm here with one of our reporter producers, Reed Frazier. Hi, Hi Jennifer. Jennifer. Hi. Um, he covers Marcella's shale issues for us, and uh, also Martha Ryle. She's an award-winning Pulitzer Prize-winning photographer for her work in Haiti and around the world. Um, she went up with Reed recently um, in a plane, in a very small plane, a um, little, little dicey there, I understand, mm -hmm. to cover some of the forestry issues around the Marcellus Shale. What, what was the story that came out of um, this video trip and, and your interviews on the ground? Yeah, so the story, Jennifer, is about um, the impact that Marcellus Shale will have on the state's forests. Pennsylvania has 16 million acres of forest, so it's a lot of woods. Um, but the place that we went to is maybe one of the uh, biggest contiguous blocks of forested land in the state. And this is important ecologically for lots of rare plants and animals. Um, but there's also, on the very edges of it, there's starting to be a lot of heavy Marcellus Shale development in the state's forest. So we wanted to take a closer look at what that's all, what's happening there. Martha, tell me from your perspective, you've been in journalism for a long time. Uh, why go up in a plane? What do you get there that um, you can't get from interviews and, and photographs on the ground? Well, you can see so much more. You can see how the structures are starting to encroach on the landscape, which is very crucial for understanding the story. It, puts a, it really puts it into perspective how much land we have to work with and how much could be wasted. Okay. Well, let's take a look at the video and right, some we'll of the still, still photographs. This is our pilot on the left, Pete Randall, and Nels Johnson, who is sort of our guide in the air. He's a scientist with the Nature Conservancy, and he's looking at uh, some of the uh, ecological impacts of uh, the drilling. And as you can see, this is just a very large block of forested land. Um, it's the Pennsylvania Wilds. The Pennsylvania Wilds, north center part of the state. You've been covering the Marcellus Shale a bit, Martha. Did anything surprise you in what you saw looking at it from this, from this, from the sky? Well, I was really glad to have the opportunity to view it from the sky because it really put it, everything into perspective for me. There was this huge canopy of trees beneath us, in many ways very beautiful as far as the eye can see. But already, you're seeing the you're seeing the encroachment on the land by the drilling companies and how the scars are being formed. And will nature have the ability to heal itself in the long run? So what are we seeing here? You're over the Pennsylvania wilds. Yeah, so you can see here, this is um, some of the best some of the largest tracts of unbroken forest in the whole state. Um, Except it's, it is broken. Well, yeah, we're, we're looking at the edges of this forest. So off in the distance, and here are some of Martha's great photos. And you can really see the contours of the land. So here you see um, some of the infrastructure uh, that goes in. And the state's really trying to, to limit the exposure, really, of the land. Um, by putting a lot of these drilling pads along, say, uh, transmission lines. So the, the, the big deal with keeping the, the land intact is that uh, a lot of plants and animal species thrive on deep forest conditions. And whenever there's a pipeline that goes in, um, it really can, a lot of the times the pipelines will cut through a kind of a large intact forest tract. And we're going to hear it from Nels Johnson right here. He's going to talk about how the state's really trying to keep a lot of this development in the same, uh, along these same corridors, these transmission lines. What's interesting to me is that there are several paths right in a row here. Normally, you see them further apart. I'm not sure why they're so close together right here, except that I guess they're trying to reach out. You know, they they don't they can't build them on the really steep slopes over there. So I guess they're lining them up here to drill way under that valley. And the gas is so far down that it doesn't matter. They'll go under yeah, a yeah. river valley or whatever. Yeah. So, I mean, they're, <clears throat> they're drilling down maybe 7,000 feet to get to the gas here. And they're maybe 1,500 feet above the bottom of the valley. So they're still 
even though they're 1,500 feet higher than that valley bottom, uh, they'd still have to go 4,005, well, they still have to go 6,000 feet further. And so, as he's explaining, the state is really trying to keep the development of these really intensive uh, drilling sites along pre-existing infrastructure. So basically, they don't have to cut new roads, new pipelines, um, and the pipelines you can see in this picture are, are the biggest concern for every well pad that they, they build, and they're building hundreds and probably up to thousands there's going to be 1.7 miles of new pipeline that they have to lay just to get the gas to bigger pipelines that take them to markets in New York City. So you've talked about the forests, some of the species living there. What about the people? And I understand that you talked to some people who are um, concerned about the scenic area. Yeah, as you can see from these photos, it's a, it's a really beautiful area. And some of the people I, I interviewed um, are really concerned about um, what is this uh, activity going to do, both sort of visually, um, you know, having these big pads out in the forest, and also ecologically. A lot of people love to trout fish up there, paddlers, canoers, um, and people who like to just hang out in the woods. Um, I've also talked to people who, you know, frankly are making a good living af off of this, and um, say, well, somebody's going to do it, it might as well be me. Okay, well, thanks, Reed and Martha, for braving the small plane and continuing uh, your great coverage of the Marcellus Shale issues. Thank you. My pleasure. Uh, the Allegheny Front is on 7.30 a.m. Saturdays on WESA 90.5 FM. That's Essential Public Radio. And at other stations, you can find the listings uh, or stream or download the show at alleghenyfront.org.